So if you want to install the path reinforcement, you have to follow the steps. First of all, we have to go to structure tab and then click on in the reinforcement section, we have to click on path reinforcement or the structural path reinforcement. So click on path and then we have to select the structure in which we want to install the reinforcements. In this case, this is select. So you have to click OK in this tab. Then we have to define the path for reinforcements. So we have to select the line or any other tool you want to start with. So let's start from this point. As you can see, there is a rectangle showing above this line. This is the reinforcement which is going along with our pointer. Click on other corner and then this corner and the other side. Now one thing you have to observe is that the path reinforcement is outside of our slab. So to go inside, we have to click on these arrows. These are flip path reinforcement arrows. We have to click on it. And then we have to go to the properties panel in which we are going to set up the reinforcement types. Essentially, there are two types of reinforcement in the path reinforcement section where one is the primary bar and the other is alternating bar. Let's install the primary bar first. So we have to select the diameter and the length of reinforcement. Let's say we want to install four feet and the diameter we are going to use is number three bar. You can also select the shape if you want to install the specific shape or a straight line, you can select from here. All of these shapes are given in Revit. Second thing, we if you want to install the hook on either sides, you can set the hook. In this case, I have set 90 degree hook. And at the end, if you want to install a hook on other side, you can set up the hook on this side also. Now let's click on finish edit mode. As you can see the reinforcement is installed. Now let's check the alternating reinforcement. So in order to set up the alternating reinforcement, you should not select the reinforcement inside this one, but you have to hover over the edges and you can see all the path reinforcement is going to select. So click on edge and then in the alternating bar section, check this one. And then you have to select the alternating bars diameters and the same properties as we did for the primary bars. So let's select number three in this case, alternating bar length, let's select three feet, alternating bar shape. So we can also select the shape for this one. This is the specific thing which we have to discuss. Uh, this is the offset from the original reinforcement line. So this is the, uh, the outer side is our reinforcement line. And uh, to, to give an offset of the alternating rebars, you have to select the distance of offset. Let's set this one to six inches. And as you can see, the reinforcement is in zigzag position with six feet offset. Let's select the path reinforcement and make it zero. Now we have to uh, adjust the spacing of rebars. Let's select six inches. And as you can see, the reinforcements are installed. In the plan, you can also see the reinforcements. On the corner, it is crossing each other. And this is the annotation for the reinforcement.
this is number three four feet length and number three three feet length at six inch center to center top alternating so that's all for path reinforcement hope to see you again bye bye